Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today do I have something for you. We have a 50 pound box of jewelry to get through and I know this is going to take quite a few few videos because because the five pound boxes take almost an hour to get through if not more than an hour and so we're going to have to break this up into a quite a few videos but Let's get into this box. Hope you guys are all well. Thank you so much for being here. Let's just cut it open and see. I'll probably just take a bit out and a little bit out at a time. We got some bubble wrap. All right, taking a peek. I'm gonna pull some out and then we will get looking. Okay. So that we can get through this 50 pound box in a few videos, four to five probably, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm going to pull out a, um, a bunch of the jewelry and I'm gonna try to separate it as best I can so that I'm not struggling with tangles and going through a lot of the craft. So right here is all of the craft pieces that I, I pulled aside from the first box. There are a cute, couple cute ones in here like this. This would have been pretty interesting except for kind of looks like coral, but the chain is really dark. These beads are cute. This bracelet would have been cute. It's just really misshapen. A little BFF panda. Some faux pearls some shells, some faded bracelets, some pacifier necklaces. Um, so yeah, these are all of the craft pieces from the first bunch of jewelry. All right, let's get started with this 50 pound box. This I spotted right away because this looks really interesting. The embossing on this leather is giving me Native American vibes. We've got a lion head, but it this is really unique. Even the real close. And this is a nice thick leather band. This is a quality item. Let's see if there's any. That says candy, but that could just be the maker of the, the buttons. I'll have to look, look this up. This is really unique though. Great start. This is a cute little daisy. Perfect for spring coming up. I don't know if there was something originally dangling off, dangling off of that. That's what it looks like. Or, yeah, it's really cute enamel. The silver tone is in excellent condition. Got it all twisted. I don't see any marks though. Cute. Okay, this is really long and on the light side. Looks like a vintage necklace with this clasp. I was thinking belt at first, but I think that this is a really long necklace that you could double and layer. Let's 
The chain is unique. You might even be able to triple this one, it's so long. I don't know, maybe not, not. That might get a little too tight on the neck. But let's take a close look. No marks. Got a vintage bracelet. There is a mark on this one. Coro. Okay, I mean, it is, it's not in really good condition here on the back. There's a lot of wear on the back. You can see where the gold tone is not there. And that is the case a lot of the time for these older bracelets. The enameling on the front is still in really good condition. So we got a Coro bracelet. Oh, we've got another faith like a mustard seed but this one is in a bangle bracelet didn't we just have a pendant in the last box with a box before that this is really cute the the bracelet is in really good condition it looks like a stainless steel to me just has that tone on it and that feel like it's it feels quality and solid but it doesn't look like sterling that's cute Little glass bead stretch. Let's see, is that smoky quartz or glass? I'll check, it, it might just be a glass. Stretch feels, feels good on this one. got some chunky acrylic pieces here cute carved rose bead and we've got a cross it does look like there is a tag this is the this looks like the you and i The U and I brand, I believe. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Oh, yeah, 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 right this way. Nice toggle clasp, but it's just a fashion piece. These cheetah little faux stone. Not a real one. Ooh, this is a really pretty bubblegum pink. And it almost has like an iridescence on there. Stretch is good. It's um, it's an acrylic. That's cute for spring. Just a green where you pull to adjust and some bronze colored beads. That'd be great for St. Patrick's Day. That is coming up. We have a cute little dainty bow cuff bracelet. A lot of times Kate Spade, I know Kate Spade makes a line of the bow, but I'm not seeing any of her marks. This is cute and dainty. All right, we've got a fun little wild stretch bracelet with shell pieces and acrylic beads. Great for summer. We've got 
got some stones here. Looks like we could have some jasper and carnelian maybe. Nice toggle clasp. Sometimes these, oh, no, nope. sometimes these gemstone bracelets are sterling silver, but I don't think that one is. Oh, I see something, I see something chunky and blingy. This is a heavy rhinestone bracelet. I can see there is a couple missing rhinestones. See three, four. Five, six, maybe seven missing rhinestones. I don't see any brands, and it does look like there's a little bit of fading up here on the, the rim of the bracelet. But honestly, I don't think you could really tell. It's a hematite tone. I think that's still a nice piece. All right, we have faux pearl, acrylic faux pearl. A fold over clasp. I don't see any brand marks on this one. But this is a nice vintage piece. Let's see something else chunky. Okay, we have the acrylic links on here. Silver tone looks good, no brands. But this is, um, it, it's fairly light. The acrylic on these is fairly light. They have like a marbled look to them, almost like it's supposed to look like stone. It's not, it's acrylic, it's a fashion piece. I'm gonna try to move quickly through this. We've got 50 pounds to go through. And I don't wanna drag it on over too many videos. I'm gonna try to get this done in like four to five. Okay, this is in really good condition. There's like a mixed tone on the metals. Some of them shiny and some of them have a matte finish. It looks like Robert Lee Morris. And I've gotten some of his pieces that look like this. But I don't see any brands. But this is a nice, nice substantial piece. I see something interesting. I do see some marks in there. This looks like sterling silver to me. I see there's a tarnish. And I'm assuming by the size of this that is a, a crystal, a cubic zirconium. But let's, let's look at the mark. All right, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it says 925 in what looks like a faded B. I was thinking it was an R for Ross Simmons, but it looks more like a B. And then Thai for Thailand. So I do think this is sterling silver, really pretty setting on this. And we're going to assume that it's a crystal, but I will check it afterwards and see. It does look like there's some other little stones, maybe some marcasites. Yeah. Pretty vintage ring. Let's see. Might as well size this now since it saved me some time afterwards. Ooh, let's scoot back a little bit. 
Okay, if I push down, it's gonna go to the, the 10, but it is really wanting to stop right before the 10, but it is just shy of a size 10. Beautiful ring. We've got a little bead wrap. I don't know what this little guy's over here dangling off of. I have some crystals on it, but there's that. I think we got a magnet stuck on here or something. A little magnet causing some problems. Okay, this has a Native American Southwestern dream catcher. Got feathers. Let me back up. Okay, um, the pendant, the dream catcher pendant is really cool looking but there is a darkening on the chain. Like I think it maybe all was once a gold tone. It was kind of fading to a silver tone now. That's, okay, still kind of cool. We've got a charm bracelet a coiled charm bracelet, lots of different charms on here. Let's peek, sometimes always peek at your sliding charms. Um, if they are sterling silver or Pandora, they generally say here on the, the outside here on the silver. But I don't see anything. We've got cute little never give up. A lollipop, swan, moon, follow your heart, a cross, a paw, cute little bow. So I think somebody just kept adding, adding charms that they like to this bracelet. It's cute. This looks neat. It is a pull to adjust bracelet, but it has some really pretty beads on here. I do think maybe some of the beads are missing. I mean the little the little crystals. I do think some of the crystals are missing. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's just a dark crystal or a missing crystal, but I think so. The beads over here are very heavy, but here we go. There's that. Like little stretch purple and black tone. What's that? Let's see. Looks like an eye. a brass. It looks like there's an eyeball. Yeah, it's totally an eye. Oh, Dr. Strange. I don't think, is that a superhero? I didn't see that, whatever it was. It's just a fabric chain on that. Heart crystal is interesting. That's a pretty big crystal. Kind of has like a champagne gold tone to this. The pendant is really nice. I do see some fading on the chain, but this pendant could easily be taken off this thin chain because 
the gold tone on the bale of this is still really nice. Pretty pendant chain is near, near, not the best. I would totally change that, change that chain. Looks like a Christmas ornament. Oh, we got some hair. Oh, let's move the hair. Hair is never a good thing. This is Premier Design. That's a large tag for Premier Design. They normally have that little. Maybe this is a more modern Premier Design but their tag is normally like a, a much smaller tag. But this is a cute, what looks like a Christmas ornament necklace. All right, we have a long Cold Water Creek. I don't even have to see it. You know the Cold Water Creek always has the, the leaf hang tag. Water Creek, and we've got beads, seed beads, and larger glass beads. This is definitely one that you can do a three, a three layer. It is so long. Let's see, one, two, three. Easily a three layer necklace. Oops, and there's a knot in it that I will get out. A couple knots in it I'll get out, but there's that. Coldwater Creek. Got a cute little rice pearl bracelet. Vintage rice pearl bracelet. Sometimes the little beads on these are gemstone and gold. But um, just looking here at the clasp, it doesn't look like a piece that it would have. This um, is a little bit lighter and this doesn't look like it would be to me. Those are still cute. Those are good for layering. Really nice pendant. I do see some markings on the back of this pendant, so let me get my loop and look close. Ooh, okay. This says Mex for Mexico, and it's 950. The silver content is 950 instead of 925. That is really nice. What does that say? Canvas? Never heard of canvas, but it has the look of a vintage Lucite, but, um, this two beads, a really burnt orange, a nice burnt orange. The stretch seems fine. Ooh, let's scoop back out. We don't need a close up of my wrist. Okay, this is interesting. We have like these, that looks like a hibiscus flower. And these, what feels like maybe wood. The silver tone is nice and the toggle clasp is nice. Okay. A locket. 
side. The magnet on the locket looks good. Kind of like a vintage brass tone on this. There is some darkening on the chain up towards the top. Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand is one of those brands that does well. There is a following for Lucky Brand jewelry, and it is because it is good quality jewelry. Oh, I see something interesting. Oh, this looks really cool. Has that tribal Aztec vibe with what looks like turquoise. Let's look on the inside. This is really dark. I don't know, let's see. Gosh, if this is silver, this would be very valuable these tribal sterling silver and turquoise bracelets are very valuable. Oh gosh, that was a terrible sound. And I, I do see a brass on there, so I don't think so, but let's go ahead and check it since we already scratched it. Oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, that's a very strong reaction. It is showing as sterling silver. Huh. Okay. I thought that the scratched looked more coppery than silvery, but that says sterling silver. All right, so this is an amazing piece to have in here. This will probably pay for the whole box, if not all of it close. This, what I mean, 50 pounds of jewelry. I did spend a lot of money on this box. After, I think it was two something that the auction ended up at, but after shipping and tax, I ended up spending like $300. But it's 50 pounds and I know I'll get my $300 back, but okay, that was a really, really cool find. That was exciting. Okay, there's charms with what looks like different numbers. This looks like maybe, um, this reminds me of something like maybe somebody got a charm every year that they worked for a company or, let's see. Thirty up at the top. Twenty four. Twenty one. 18. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a oh, another 18. 20, oh no, 16. I'm thinking thinking this is a an anniversary style. You got a charm. I don't know. That's my guess. That is my guess. We've got an, a vintage acrylic bead necklace where the beads are made to look like gemstones. They are not. They are light. marks some fading on these gold tone beads there's that simple gold pendant black cordage Let's see I do see maybe a little bit of fading No marks. Oh. We got another big bling bracelet. Same fading on the outside. Oh, there's, there's a little bit more on this one. 
So I already see a couple rhinestones missing. Not too much. I only see the two over here. Like, this is still really, really nice. Look at how big and chunky this thing is. I mean, this is definitely a statement piece. Kind of matches my shirt. I'm wearing a green shirt. Ready for St. Patrick's Day. Okay. What is this? Gosh, these spikes. This is totally biker rocker. I've got this metal bib with these, this design here. This is edgy and rocker. I do see some fading like on the tips it looks like. and maybe on the chain. Okay. We've got more gemstones. So this is either a black glass or an onyx. These look like glass. And then there's these more matte, matte um, beads here. Those could be stone. The silver pendant. I always check the gemstone. I do think I'm seeing a little bit of a pull. I don't think that piece is, but if it is, I will let you guys know. I always check the gemstone pieces. So a lot of times they are. Ooh, look at this. They connected the earrings to the necklace for me. That is awesome. So we have art glass and it looks like we have some dyed howlite here and a cute pair of matching earrings. This is awesome. Let's see, is there a mark on this? You gotta look on this part and this top part, sometimes it's hidden too. I don't see any, but let me look closely. I'm not seeing any marks. If it is, I will let you guys know. This is a cool set. I wish they'd always do that. And what is this? That is a chunky, and it says something, chunky, heavy cross. Looks like it has turquoise little beads and Big rhinestones and then a braided leather cord. Okay, let's see what this says. I can't make it out. I'm gonna have to look closely. Okay, it looks like it looks like a website. Like I can't really make it out completely, but it looks like it says dot com. In the beginning, it looks like it says www. And then at the end here, it looks like it says .com. So that's interesting. But this is a very heavy, substantial piece. So that should be a good seller. Look 
got some tiger's eye and what looks like little wood beads. Let's see, it does look like it says something. Let me look. Oh, it's Avon. Okay, this is an Avon, Tiger's Eye Avon multi-layer necklace. We've got rose gold and really pretty, what looks like Tiger's Eye. And then maybe a jasper. It's like that that brick red color of a jasper. Does look like there's a mark here on the clasp. Let's look closely. SP. V C oh, is this V C V C L A maybe? It looks like V C L A. I'll have to look that up. It is a wannabe, I think, of the Van Cleef and Arpel, which there is a market for this. Not everyone can afford Van Cleef and Arpel, so we have to get the off-brand stuff, right? Okay, guys, I did a quick Google search and looked up the bracelet, and this is what I found. VCA is Van Cleef and Arpel. Um, I'm assuming this is a knockoff, but kind of exciting. I need to do a little bit more research. I don't have any of those. All right, we have a heavy, what looks and feels like a dyed stone. Vintage barrel clasp. Cold, heavy beads. What's that? We've got some pretty rhinestones here in like a, um, not a green and not a turquoise, but somewhere in between, like a deep teal almost. Two layers. It looked like all the rhinestones were there. I don't see any jewelry brands. It did look like a J. Crew piece at first, but there's that. That looks pretty. Long, long cordage on this necklace with this big. Teardrop textured pendant. Very long and simple. Oh, this is cute. This looks like um, the dried flowers. Total 70s vibe with this. When these were really popular. No chain on this one. It could be floating around in this box somewhere, but that is, that is a really pretty pendant. Perfect for spring and summer, I think. All right. This looks like a Kendra Scott. Oh, it is. Okay, this is a vintage Kendra Scott. There's um, there's a bit of fading on this piece. You can see on all the points. 
the copper coming through. And let's look at the chain. So darkening on the chain, and you can see some that some fading on the hang tag too. But we are looking closely, and I still think that that is a pretty cool piece. We have another pool to adjust bracelet with a light blue colored crystal. Pretty, pretty and simple. Okay, this necklace looks like Easter to me. It is just a stretch band and with some simple, oops, maybe that one's coming undone. Yeah, this one's a little iffy. It looks like maybe, maybe the, um, the cordage inside is fraying a little bit, but would have been cute. Would have been cute. Got a shell chip in a light coral color, like a peachy coral color. Surfer necklaces. They normally sell those in lots. Okay, this looks like, yep, it looks like a, an acrylic or a resin. Maybe some darkening here. Oh. Okay, this looks like one of those vintage horn. Like it's a rhino horn or something like that. Oh, it has a $120 sticker on the inside this gold wiring that is chunky it is big can you see the texture there pretty cool Looks like we have a gold chain. It doesn't look real by the looks of the, the endings here. It is in really good condition though. I don't know if you guys will see how shiny this, this is. No fading on it. It's also great for layering. This is interesting. This is definitely gemstones. Looks like a turquoise, really nice hook clasp. This is a really nice piece. Heavy, heavy, chunky. It looks like turquoise and maybe a quartz. And then, oh. This looks like maybe an agate. Ooh, that's our German Shepherd. Let me tell you, when that one barks, everyone knows. Okay, I'm going to push pause and see who's here. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And back to this stunning necklace. This is a beautiful necklace. These large hanging stone pendants here. So most of the accent metals are gold, and then it looks like maybe this faded to a silver, but let's check it because it's a really nice piece. Oh, I 
am seeing a movement there. Yeah, I know, but, mm. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little check on the hook. I can see that these pieces aren't, and I don't think the hook is either. Nope. That's what it looks like when it is not. This is still a really nice piece, it's just not precious metals. It's a very well made piece though. Stunning. Okay, I've spent enough time on that. We've got an acrylic stretch in a bronze tone. And I don't know if that, hmm, okay. Not the best condition. I'm gonna do a few more pieces then probably stop the video because I don't want it to go too long. Let's pause for a second while my dogs drink. Okay, our German Shepherd, when she drinks out of the bowl, you can hear her from across the room and she leaves a stream of water as she's leaving. She's messy and loud and we love her. This little choker necklace with these little fringed seed bead fringe. We've got a heart stretch, but there is quite a bit of fading on this one. This will probably go into the craft lot. All right, we've got another bracelet. It has the, oh, right here to get it on in a brass tone and then what looks like some acrylic pieces. Cute. Okay, this these look like real pearls. These look like real, they call this shade like a peacock. Peacock blue, because it changes when you move it. It'll look green, it'll look purple, and it'll look blue. And that is what is referred to as peacock. Okay. What does that say? Patent. There's a patent on that little button closure. Okay, I'm going to look closely at that. I think that might be another patent number. Yes, it's a USA patent number. It says USA PAT. But, oh yeah, these are real pearls and this is a very pretty necklace. Very nice and heavy. Oh, what is this? Oh, bummer. I have seen these before, these tribal necklaces where it has the mother of pearl, like eagle, but this one is broken. Bummer. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Oh. I mean, that could totally be glued now that I know where it goes, but it's not a piece that I would sell. I would put this in the craft lot and somebody else can fix that. I'm not the fixer of things. I just don't have the time. This is chunky. Very chunky, nice charms on this. Very vintage brass, almost bronze tone. And I do think I see a maker's mark. Where'd it go? Oh. Ooh, it's faded. Yeah, this is an older piece. Let me look closely. Okay, um, I don't know if there was a maker's mark on there, but it is faded off. This is a neat piece. This is giving me vintage 80s vibes. Has a locket there. What does that say? Makes all things possible. 
faith. I think that's, I was going to say faith, but it, the F got. That's really cool. And this big old chunky acrylic diamond. Very, very unique piece. Okay, we have a bangle bracelet that has a wrapped fabric around it. have another macrame this one's nice this this is um a nicer boho style macrame bracelet if that is your vibe that is a really cool piece okay we've got a shell mother of pearl shell stretch i have quite a few of these style braces, bracelets listed already. I've been putting them in lots of two. Oh, we have another one of these. Same, same maker. This one is white. Ooh, this is bright. Goodness. Fluorescent metal have like a biker chain but this is giving me like festival vibes also you know those neon festival vibes i've never been to one but this would be good for that just a fun um this would also be a fun costume piece like 80s it's heavy this is a oh and it's the twist okay there's that Oh goodness. Okay, I feel like we're getting close to the time limit. So I'm just going to do a couple more. What is this? Is this an instrument? Okay, there, there are some what looks like Asian writing over here. And there's a hole. Two holes. Then hold on the bottom. Is this for incense or is this a, very well could be like a, who knows? That's, I have no clue. Here we have a really neat vintage looking bracelet. Definite wear on the silver tone, but this is an old piece, you can tell. That is... Okay, that says Sarah Coventry. Sarah Cove bracelet. We've got a pretty heavy, chunky acrylic bangle with a pretty blue flower design. Okay, this is a thinner cuff, like a confetti lucite, it looks like confetti acrylic. I don't know if it looks old enough to be a loose sight, but okay. And all right, so this is the last bit of what I put aside. We have like a glitter pendant here. No marks. Decent tone. Really pretty rhinestone, what looks like a snowflake. I don't see any marks on it, but the silver tone on this piece is really nice. And that is a pretty pendant. And then we just have some, that's it for the earrings. We're still at the top of the box. So 
we probably don't, won't get too much of that till we get to the bottom. And that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back my favorites from this first part and end the video. All right, here it is. Here are my favorites. Of course, I love all of the natural gemstone in pearl necklaces. I am so drawn to that style jewelry. I love the Kendra Scott and some sterling silver pieces. And this is probably my absolute favorite. And actually that too. Lots of cute, chunky bracelets and these items. And so yeah, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me. Don't forget if there's anything in this video that you would like, you can email me at CallieMomCollects for number four, you at gmail.com. The prices in the video are my subscriber prices. I Those prices are good for about 24 hours and then they will go on eBay for full price. And I charge $5 flat shipping and yeah. If you have any questions, also you could email me. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.